I left a full delicious pepperoni pizza outside in the sun for seven whole days. Because sometimes the grossest science can lead to the most unexpected answers. So I ordered this pizza from Papa John's today. It's still hot. It smells really good. So let's take a look here. We have our basic pepperoni pizza that smells really good. I am really sad, <laughs> to be honest, about wasting this good pizza. Ugh, pizza is one of my favorite foods. So without further ado, I am going to bring this pizza upstairs to the rooftop deck and I will see you guys outside. It is really sunny out here. It's quite warm too. So this is gonna be quite the interesting experiment. I think this is gonna go bad pretty darn quickly. Merciless, hungry. They devoured the entire pizza. My data was gone. It's the next day. I forgot about the frickin' ravens around here. Well, I'm gonna have to think of a backup plan then. So, like any good scientist, I did what had to be done. This time, I sealed a slice inside a glass jar and left it in the sun for seven straight days. No birds, no interruptions, just one slice of pizza trapped in a miniature glass oven. Looks like the glass is really fogged. The oils and the cheese are separating and the condensation has completely coated the inside. With all that moisture, once that sun comes out, it's gonna be the perfect ecosystem for bacterial growth. Day four, and the pizza did not look very appetizing. The pepperoni was brownish, the grease was running down, and the crust, it hardened like, well, it was four day old pizza. I was fully expecting mold. However, there was no mold. And that was a bit concerning. Days five, six, and seven, there was no real change to the pizza. I was expecting chaos, mold, slime, maybe something unholy climbing out of the jar. But nope, the pizza just hardened, like it was slowly mummifying instead of rotting. The inside of the jar stayed damp from condensation and earlier rain, but the slice itself still hold together, a little darker, a little drier, but no mold. And that's where this experiment surprised me the most because everything about this setup should have screamed decay, heat, moisture, oxygen. It was like a textbook mold farm. But maybe the preservatives did their job a little too well. Okay, let's talk about science for a second because this slice should have rotted. We had heat. We had moisture. We gave it a glass jar terrarium to sit for seven full days. And still, no mold. Why? Well, one big reason? Preservatives. Most frozen pizzas are built to survive. Not just a freezer aisle but also the microwave, the oven, the back of your freezer for six months, and apparently a glass jar in the sun. Let's start with sodium nitrite and sodium ascorbate. These are mainly used in meats to prevent spoilage and bacterial growth. They help maintain that bright color in pepperoni, and more importantly, Stop the growth of microbes that make the food go rancid. Together, 
These preservatives are basically a microbial no-fly zone. Even though I created a steamy, sealed environment in that jar, the pizza's built-in defense system held strong. Either way, the real decay was emotional. I waited for seven days for mold, and all I got was a slice of pizza that's now eligible for a spot in a museum. So, not the result I wanted, but hey, that's science. All right. The moment has come. It's time to open the jar. I pried open that rock hard pizza using tongs and chopsticks because I did not want to touch that pizza with my bare hands. And yes, I have gloves, usually, but I ran out while filming this experiment. The pizza smelled really bad, but I could not find any signs of mold meaning the preservatives had done their job quite well. There was not much else remarkable to say about this pizza slice. It smelled bad, it was rock hard, the pepperoni was browned, but no mold. Nothing dangerous that I could see. That wraps up leaving pizza out in the sun for seven days. Was it disgusting? Absolutely. Would I do it again? Maybe? Let me know in the comments if you want me to put anything else in jars or leave out in the sun for a week. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more disgusting science fun. Fuck, what a disaster this experiment was. Damn birds. God, this thing fucking stinks. All right, I gotta go clean up.